take a look at this. 35 years ago, someone carved their initials into that tree. Looks like they just did it with a knife, and look how pronounced those lines are. They're relatively deep, too. I mean, these are like incredible. 1975. shows you how long this these markings last if you put them in a tree I mean, 35 years later and they're even there I mean they're as clear as ever okay well as you can see behind me there I uh, gathered pretty much firewood um, I'm not sure if it'll be enough to last the entire night um, but at least at least the second half of the night because that's when it's really coldest anyways I'll, pr I'll just probably just try to sleep either with just a really really small low fire or no fire at all the first half and then when I wake up shivering you know 2 3 a.m. when it starts to get really cold I can can build a fire and, and then it'll hopefully well that from like 2 or 3 on that should be enough to last until till morning so uh, I mean remember that looks like a lot of firewood but there's there's 14 hours of darkness this time of year and only 10 hours of daylight so uh, I mean if you think about how fast that burns relative to 14 hours that's really not that much firewood but anyways right now since it's getting starting to get dusk I'm gonna do something a little crazy um, I'm very hungry and so I'm gonna go check those three traps that I set and uh, see if I caught anything that can satisfy my hunger with. Okay, it's a lot darker than it looks on camera. The camera kind of brightens things up. I mean, it's not like super dark. It's uh, the sun's set already, and it's just starting to get into the twilight hours. And I think that, I think that right now might actually be prime time for when all the squirrels and little animals are are around the creek getting drinks. And uh, and I don't want to go disturb them if they're about to get caught in in one of my traps. So. Uh, the creek's just right over over that next hill there, and uh, I think I'm just gonna wait here for 10 or 15 minutes, and then go after it's after it's darker and just check the traps. Okay, <clears throat> it's the moment of truth. I'm down here, and I'm about to check the first of three traps. I hope you can. I hope you guys can see. All right. Did it go? Did it go? No, it did not go. There it is. Um, see, I don't know if that's better, if you can see better in that light, but it's still standing. It's still set. So, maybe tomorrow morning I'll have something. Let's go see what the second one's like. Alright, now in this case, it's actually a, a lot lighter than it looks on camera. At least I can see a lot better than I can through the camera screen, so you guys probably can't see much. That's the second one. sort of sprung. I th shoot, I think the mechanism was crushed. Let's see. Yeah. The mechanism just crushed. There's nothing on here. Okay, now you can see something. Uh, yep, see? It's still, it's still set there. Well, it's quite a bit more difficult to find my way up to my spot in the dark. I mean, it gets dark super quick around here. I mean, half an hour after the sun goes down. Well, this is about 45 minutes after the sun goes down, and already it's too dark to see without my headlight. And I can see, but I can't see the little twigs and stuff that can scratch my face. So I have to have my headlight on. And just 15, 20 minutes ago, uh, you know, it was bright as day. It's incredible how fast it gets dark. I'm glad I thought ahead and brought my headlight down with me and my, to the creek. Otherwise, I'd be screwed. Mmm. Mm-hmm. No, I normally don't like these things. But right now, that tastes really, really good. Mmm. Wow. Now I'm even hungrier. Well, this is night number two, 
and uh, I'm sorry to say that I was uh, I just got a call from uh, my crew and uh, it's supposed to start freezing rain at 1 and last all morning and it's supposed to make driving conditions extremely bad oh the smoke is horrible and uh, so they're gonna actually come pick me up tonight because uh, they won't be able to drive on the roads tomorrow because it'll be too icy so I just have about another hour or so to sit here by this fire and, uh, and then that's it okay well it's uh, it's time for me to start making my way out of here so I'm gonna put this fire out and uh, then I'm off Which this is a this is a kind of a not very glorious ending to a survival show because uh, it's, it's nighttime. But uh, at the same time, you know, it probably would be pretty pretty darn miserable, and I wouldn't do much videoing anyways if I stayed another day because of the because of the freezing rain that's gonna come. So obviously, I'm looking forward to being able to sleep in a real bed again so uh yeah i'm gonna put this fire out and then uh and then i'm out of here